from your estate to real estate. It's Money Matters with Dina. Sean, let's focus strictly on Chapter 7 here. It's my understanding that Chapter 7 is probably the most um, uh, widely used of all the chapters in here in the in the states. That's right. Um, what what are the requirements? Because um, I know they've changed a lot sure. in, in over the years, right? In, and I believe there's an income restriction. Um, and then I want to find out like if you own a house and just kind of how the whole thing works. Sure. So basically, the first thing we always look at is, does somebody even qualify for Chapter 7? Um, <clears throat> so attorneys use what's called the means test. Okay. And under the means test, you have to be able to show that your monthly income is actually less than your monthly expenses or pretty close to it. And that's really the test. So what we do during our interviews is we inquire about what are their monthly income, what, how much is it after taxes, what are their expenses, do you have a mortgage payment, how much is your rent, um, if you have car payments. So looking at these, we can determine if somebody qualifies for Chapter 7 or not. But the general rule of thumb is your monthly income has to be less than your monthly expenses. 